Hello everybody, it's Dio from Firm But Fair Gaming bringing you another video. Join all the videos and content we produce. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button, click on that like button, and don't be afraid to share. Don't forget to click on the notification button, customize it however you want, but that way you're notified whenever we publish another video. Hello everyone, welcome to this Diablo 3 video. Today we are going to be talking about how to set up Diablo to utilize a controller. This is why I'm on cam so you guys can see this and then I'll just hold it up here so we can run around and yeah so this is me playing on the controller. Uh, I found out this was viable. I was told it wasn't. I wanted to give it a shot so it works and just so people know whether or not it is you know whether they think it's just a waste of time keyboard or mouse is superior or not. Uh, I used to be a console player. I switched to PC, so I have thousands of hours, uh, you know, like probably most people on console. I haven't touched one in a number of years, probably two or three years, but in a span of just a couple hours of utilizing this, I was able to set a new personal best. So my previous best, I go to leaderboard, I had a 140, um, and then I just went and did a 141 last night using the controller. So yeah, it doesn't take too long to refigure it out. Uh, the main thing was figuring out where to assign the buttons that made sense in my brain. Once that was done, started low at uh, just GR 90s and constantly went up five, five levels. You know, the times were at the start as I was getting re-familiar with it a little bit slower than what I'd be used to. But as time went on, obviously I got the hang of it, figured out the buttons, everything made sense. It was basically as if I was using a keyboard and mouse and then I set a new PB, personal best. So without further ado, enough of me blabbing about why I did it, let's show you how I did it. Alrighty, what did we need to do first? So the first thing we needed to do was go into the Microsoft App Store and search for Anti-Micro. So Anti-Micro is the app that lets you Convince your computer that a keyboard, or sorry, that a controller is actually a keyboard and mouse. So this is what utilize that I'm utilizing to make Diablo think that I'm actually using a keyboard and mouse when I'm utilizing the controller. So you download that, and then the actual app interface looks like this. So it shows all the different buttons on the controller, and then you can just kind of pick and assign what they are. So this is my Diablo controller config. Uh, version 2 so you just that's what I say to that so anyway so you just kind of assign what you want so on the analog sticks I just told it to act like a mouse both of them are going to act like a mouse uh, so as you move it you know this is what they do and I have them both set up like that just in case I ever decide to um, need to use the right analog stick because I primarily use the left while for the movement. But if I ever need to use the right one so I can press buttons on the left side, then this still gives me an option where I can keep moving the mouse. For the directional pads, I put on just some of the basic abilities. So I got my inventory character sheet, town portal, my potion. And then down here is where all the other buttons are. So we got the a, B, X, Y, our triggers, our bumpers, or the shoulders as they're called in here, um, and then our start button and all that sort of stuff. And you kind of get to choose whatever you want here. So me personally, I did my left trigger to a force move, and then my right trigger is my, so I stand still and cast, and that just made the most sense to me. I did have them originally programmed to be my left and right click, uh, but then when I wanted to do my force move or stand still, it just was clunky when I wanted to use something else. So I found it more intuitive just to use the triggers for that. And then I'm using the bumpers as my left and right click. And then I've assigned my the X, Y, A, B as my one, two, three, four. Um, Cause that is what made sense in my brain. There's, this has went through a couple iterations as you're playing, you know, you're going to be pushing some buttons and intuitively just based on other get video games you've played, you're going to like, just realize, okay, that button shouldn't be there. I want to put it somewhere else. Um, and then, you know, just make the corresponding change. All in all, this took about less than 15 minutes to set up. The tweaking as you went along obviously took longer, but it was so simple and I gotta tell you, I kinda love it. Um, after hours and hours of gameplay and weeks and weeks during the season, sometimes, uh, I don't know, you may find that your hand gets sore or maybe you have you have a desk job and then the gaming, so you know, you 
have all that extra exertion on your your arm and you kind of you know after a long session you might be like oh shit my hand hurts or whatever which is kind of where i was getting into which is one of the reasons i did this and then just switching it up it uh after one night of playing, like I can just see, feel, you know, not the same strain on the arm or anything like that, as well as it's just cool as well. So it kind of has a little bit of a health benefit as well, just switching up to, you know, relieve your arm from the constant clicking. And also, like I said, I set a new personal best, so it really wasn't that detrimental to my actual gameplay. This is quick, simple, easy, 15 minutes, download the finish and playing. Very simple. Love it. Um... I will say you have to keep this open. If you close this, then it'll I'll obviously not recognize the controller as a mouse. And so you just need to keep this app open in your dropdown. So as you can see, it's down there. Um, and then you'll be good to go. Anyways, I didn't want to ramble too long. I probably already did that, but that's the quick, simple, easy way to set up Diablo to recognize a controller as a mouse. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Be happy to answer those and let me know what you think about it during the switch. Is it as easy as how I found it or are you gonna go stay with the keyboard and mouse? I just thought this was so cool. But anyways, that's enough for me. As always, we appreciate likes, share, and subscribe. So please click those buttons. And of course, come hang out with me on Twitch and you can guess whether I'm using the keyboard that day or the controller. Hope you guys are enjoying Diablo 3 Season 27, and I'll see you guys next time.